and welcome to another episode of Wines for the Times. My name is Judith Stanford and I'll be your host. Now I am celebrating today a positive event in my life and as a result of that I wanted to do a nice meal with a really nice wine. So I ordered an Italian meal from La Bussola restaurant in downtown Kelowna to support local businesses and I chose a wine from Italy that was part of the tasting that I'm required to do for my class. So wine tasting is currently my hedonistic pleasure. I've had other hedonistic pleasures throughout my life, but at this point in time I'm concentrating strictly on wine. So here we go. Today we are going to be tasting a 2014 Elio Sandri Barolo from Italy. The region is Piedmont and the alcohol content is 14%. This wine cost me $80 Canadian and I got it from my mid-range local wine store and so you should be able to find this wine somewhere in your area. So it's very important as far as my course is concerned that I taste everything exactly the same way each time. Consistency is very important according to my class. So as we go, I'm going to pour this wine. I'll keep the bottle in the picture. And I have to evaluate it by the four areas, which are appearance, nose, palate, and of course the conclusion. So the first part is, I'm taking a look at the wine, and the wine is clear. There's no sediment, nothing floating around in it. I hold it up against a piece of white paper, which I'm going to just do on the side here. And I can tell it's a medium garnet color and the, in the core, and the rim is a pale garnet. I can see writing through it. So it is um, transparent, it's not opaque. And I think that I would describe the color as medium intensity. So here's the nose. I could tell that the wine is in good condition. There's no corkage or any issues with the wine. The initial nose I get from it is medium intensity. It has good, a good nose. I'm getting earthy, earthy aromas, a little bit of mustiness, maybe like wet soil. I'm getting some red cherries as a secondary nose, and not the sweet red cherries, more like the sour red cherries. All right, here we go, let's taste. Okay, this wine is dry. I'm not getting a lot of acidity. Acidity is what makes a wine mouth watering. I am getting high tan, tan, tannins which is where it sucks the, water, the liquid out of your mouth. And you're supposed to squish it around your mouth so it touches all the parts of your tongue and your cheeks so that you can get all the flavors. You're supposed to spit it out if you're doing a real tasting, but I'm not wasting this wine. So it has medium to high alcohol. That's what I'm getting from the warmth in my mouth. And if you swirl the glass and look at the legs, and those are the little things that come down when you swirl the glass a little, it gives you an idea of the alcohol content. It has an earthy taste. which was in line with what I got from the nose. And I'm getting some 
balsamic, which I didn't get when I when I smelled it. I would say this is, you could drink it now. It's a mature wine. However, I think that if it aged another five to seven years in the bottle, it might reduce the tannic taste that I'm getting from the wine. It has good depth of flavor and it's medium value relative to price. Now, this is the price in Canada. The price in Italy, uh, the price in the US may be totally different. Uh, we have a lot of high import duties here in Canada. I think it would pair well with a heavy meal like steak or uh, pork chops, um, game, or a heavy pasta. I'm going to be having a uh, veal dish with a mushroom gravy and some pasta so this should pair very well. Well thank you very much for tuning in again and I'll catch you next time.